reservations a couple days in advance. So, um, so it wasn't your average restaurant where, where you were. Uh, Now, did you say this? To, did you say this to her? I said this out loud, of course. You know me; I don't really hold back. But I, I okay. So um, then she took it there. Just when you think it's enough, like this person has eight animals in their house, you know it smells like shit. It can't not, and they don't even smell it anymore because she's a smoker and she don't even know she smells like a cigarette. So I'm like, well, I don't know if I can visit you. I'm thinking this is a point. Like, I don't know if I can visit you. Because your house stinks. I just know. I don't even have to go there. You've got four litter boxes and eight animals. Then she put the whammy on me. I thought I was going to choke. I'm sitting there having my little eggs, you know, brunch. And she said, and a pet rat. What? A pet rat? I put my horn down. And I said, now listen, right here and now, I'm being honest with you. We might have to end up friendship right here at lunch. Lunch, whatever, bitch. Bloody Mary or not, it was all good till you said pet rat. <laughs> I lost it right there. The lady at the table next to me was losing it. I said, I can't do rats. I don't do rodents. I don't do rodents. And the fact that I know that you own a pet rat is entirely too much for me. And this friendship may be over and it just got started. Bitch, the date is over. Okay, I'm not feeling it. And she proceeds like she hasn't heard me say all of this. I wasn't thinking it. I was saying that our friendship may be over. I'm never coming to visit you in Chicago. I'm not coming to your house. Okay. And you said, I'm a rat killer. I will kill your rat. I said, now listen, I have rat poison around my house and in the basement. Ha, 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 ha. 